worried by the state of affairs when it comes to what is this? Did one of the roads want to go through an existing? You know, I don't know anymore. There you go. Some strange stuff going on here. This is how weird the city building aspect of this game can get. Makes me a little sick to even call it that. Alright, how are we doing on housing occupancy now? <clears throat> it's at a reasonable level, i.e. below 60%, so the AI will not build any more houses here. I just had to be disgusted about that. Are you planning on maximizing all the city's population? Yes and no. Yes, I'm going to try my damnedest. No, because there's one thing I'm not doing. Allow me to show you what that is. Allow me to attempt to show you what that is. It doesn't always work out the way you want it to. You know, I never quite worked out the rhyme or reason why this works sometimes and other times it does not. I got it fairly consistently once upon a time. <clears throat> Alright, let's mix it up and use a different kind of building here. Oh man, my party trick is uh, its falling flat. Even though I totally didn't come up with this, but it'd be fun to think if I did. Let's try it from a different angle then. Wow, okay, I'm going to try this two more times and I'm just going to uh, probably jump to another example. Or maybe my positioning is wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. That's the ticket. Boom. You can truly maximize the population in your cities by building more of your services outside of the wall, which normally you can't do. Look at me, it won't be built. But it goes, hey, a road that you built, I can build here. And then it goes, yeah, I'm fine here. And then you can do another adjoining line here and actually fill this whole thing up with industry. But I'm trying to avoid that because it's really not very pretty. So, nice try guys, away you all go. Still Stavanger, looking fine. So I'm happy enough with this. And it provides us all the meat, so I can actually knock off Stavanger here as well. The cities that I have, and we'll bring you back up again, the cities I have set to give me 100 of something and nothing else, they're the easiest to work with, because you know, you just get this to 100 and you're good to go. So I'm also setting you to yellow. In fact, your population is 100, and everything else is looking grand, so not only are you going to be yellow, I'm going to put you down as green. Green to go. Happy days. Fair bit of work went into all that uh, single player Eve spreadsheet, so that's okay. Jake, how do I get girls I hate to like me so I can dump them, says Commitment Tissues. Uh, get a lot of money and be pretty good looking. Now, it wasn't just Stavanger, was it? I already looked at Gotham City. Gotham City's looking fine. These are all done. Ahos. Yeah. Uh, it's... I can be satisfied with this. So what's the next step? Well, I need to bring up the cities that I have not touched. I'm going to start with the west and then work my way east. Because that's just how we roll around here. However, we're not done yet. Why would we ever be done so quickly? I also want to go around all my cities and make damn sure that I've upgraded everything that I need to upgrade. And I'm also wanting to make sure that my shipyards are building loads of Carvels. Of course they are. Why would they not? Boston as well. You have everything. Ah, university needs to upgrade. You know that. Shipyards working on those Carvels, surely? Surely. I love Carvels. That's why we have lots of them. I love having money to dump on Carvels. Harlem naturally did everything long ago. But I didn't build a whole load of new houses in Harlem, despite me wagging my finger at myself just a little bit earlier that I would need to. 
and Harlem, I don't know if I set you up for stockfish production or not, let me think, 100 wood, 66 bricks, 167 wool, and all of my fish, all 217 of it. So I'm going to need to double the amount of smoke fish houses I have, so this is going to come down to about here. The amount of houses is going to be 550, so I need to build another 48 of them, which quite nicely works out as six blocks of them. Probably. How many do I need to build? 26 of them. That doesn't work out well at all. No, no it does not. But that's okay. My abhorrent mathematical skills aside, we'll build 8, 16, 24, 25, 26. And hey, would you look at that? Because these are the lovely squarish kind of buildings, they're going to slot in real well with these other squarish buildings. Except not there because I made you hug the wrong part of the wall. Mm, I wonder if I can undo this enough. Game says no. Game says go away. There we go. Much better. So now we are... wait, what? Where, where did I learn to count? Let's not answer that question. 550, so we're looking good there. There's a lot more industry we need to build up though. Thankfully the AI never built up any industry as far as I'm aware. <clears throat> but there's going to be a lot of sheep that we need to produce here. Wool is at 167 here, which is my entire demand for wool, which is probably why we're overstocking on it right now. Then again, I'm willing to believe that it's not overstocking in Aalborg. Okay, it is overstocking in Aalborg. Well, how about that? We should probably cut down the production of wool for a wee bit. But those wool producers need to go elsewhere. And what luck, we have about a thousand free spaces in the sawmill. So, there you go. And there we go indeed. It's all wealthy in Harlem. This is excellent. But Harlem could be more excellent. Because when it comes to wood, I've got 32 out of 100. When it comes to clay, I've got 55 out of 66. So I could actually build you up all the way here and now if we wanted to be extremely boring. And there's no way that I need to build up my fish all the way. And the thing is, fish all the way is not what we're looking for right now. More bricks we could always do with, though. Jake, for some reason I recall you learning to count at a universe. Shh. Quiet now. Nobody needs to know. Just check the amount of patricians that we got though now, thanks to Harlem being built up as much as it is. Giving us tons and tons of dosh every day. Not only that, but thanks to the tax rate, which I can very happily increase because Harlem is usually a great place to be. I can take loads of dosh and just shove it into my own coffers, because that's how I work around here. I would fancy a meal for the poor as well if I had enough meat and beer to go around. But I do not. And there's no mead either, so actually I'm not doing well in terms of the meal for the poor stuff. Still, I feel like I should work up the wood and the clay to what I need. Now the clay only needs an ele uh, 11 more of them, and I'm willing to build that. Because clay and uh, wood you always need more of, constantly, especially with the amount of building up that I'm planning on doing, and indeed I'm currently doing. So how many more did I say I needed these? Probably 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. That's right, right? Yeah, probably. How many more wood, though? I got 32. I say I need 100. So I need 68 more of them. Well. 67, 66, 65, 4, 3, 2, 1, 60. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 50. 9, 8, 7, 6. Mm, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 40. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 30. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20. 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bah. That doesn't work out nice however I cut it. Wow, that's just really not wanting to play well with me. No space here? Oh well. There you go. That was probably me counting right, and there's probably enough space for the remaining wool and smokehouse production that I need here. When it comes to wool, I want another... If I can read my own writing here. I want another 43 of them, which is 10 of these, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's like that again. Excuse me, again. And all this again here. I'd say there's room. If there's not room, I can demolish some. Okay, there's not much I can really demolish. Not really super keen on demolishing my warehouses since it's not like I have an overabundance of them at 29 here. And I still probably should get some extra infirmaries later on. Since I don't have a whole heap of them. Still! Harlem is looking amazing. This is like the crown jewel of the Hansa. Well, hell, it is the crown jewel of the Hansa. But I'm happy enough with how it is. Still, they miss raw materials. They miss raw materials bad. They need a ton of hemp. And I am disappointed at the lack of hemp that I have coming in. Although maybe a lot of that is because I've been selling it super cheap. Nonetheless, <clears throat> where should my hemp be coming from? Nashved. I've been trying to produce tons of hemp here whenever possible. The mead breweries need to go way down. I barely need any mead right now. And then there are the smelters. Because iron, it's either a uh, feast or a famine when it comes to iron, and it's currently a famine. That's okay though, I mean the hemp production can kick into overdrive. What else do I have to do though? Because I think I dealt with all the cities that I wanted to look at right now. I need to... Oh, I need to be very happy that I have plenty of wood right now, that's good. Not so happy with the clay situation though. Although, hopefully Harlem's massive amounts of clay that I just told them to have. And why are they not selling any, I wonder? Oh, because I used them all for production. Yeah, there's a massive shortage of clay in the Hansa right now. But that's... acceptable. I need to up the amount of wool that gets sent over here, though. So my wool brigade, wherever it is, it's going to be the Har to Al Wool. Har to Al the to shreds even okay well it is active but it's only uh, only four cogs and it's going to need to be more fortunately I have a butt ton of ships over in Alberg unfortunately I'm under attack from unknown pirates and I don't have any measure to defeat them right now I'm working on that I lent that out I don't know where the treasure is and I think Angry Man... Yeah, King Erickson sent out these convoys, so there should be a mission to defeat them. And then once I defeat them, I'm going to sort out my uh, Guardian fleets. So that's okay. So these guys will be mad and destroy things for a wee while. Otherwise, everything looks good except... Well, Rostock continues to not look good, despite me building all these. In fact, I never got around to building the extra houses even after that. So something I can do in Rostock to limit the amount of workers here is to actually take over everything and force the amount of people down to 10,000. That's a little tedious. I have to fill out everything in Rostock, which won't be pleasant. I would also have to move here and win the election. Fortunately, the election is in eight days. So, as long as Rostock is a Hanseatic city, which it is, I can first return to Riga, where I am the big daddy. Damn right I am. Um, I'm going to take all the city treasury, of course. Good. I'm going to 
do what exactly? I don't dare want that to be taken over. Are there many or any infirmaries? Because nah, I don't want that. I don't want horrible things to befall Riga. As strange as that may seem. I'm just on the fence about building up those infirmaries though. I really shouldn't. Wow. This, this nasty piece of work built these houses. There you go, there's some infirmaries. So otherwise I get out of here and I can do some do some things to Rostock. So I go personal, I move to Rostock, ka-ching. Costs a bit of money to get here, but what you gonna do? Carts groan under the weight of your belongings as the panting oxen strain under the crack of the coachman's whips. Fresh morning air celebrates your departure to, for Rostock, our new home, great. Easy to forget, but I did marry Anna, and we have a whole bunch of children. One of them is called Powell, and that makes me sick. Still, uh, we're going to run for election here, because that's how we work. And that allows me to expand the wall shortly, because I need to keep a close eye on this place, since it has an uncapped population. For the other places, I can at least make sure that they do not pass anything that build, uh, allows them to build a bigger cathedral. That is something that I certainly do not want. Not all that happy with all this. I'm okay with these tailors, though, because I'm going to demolish them, because who needs tailors around here? I certainly don't. And then we can have some houses. Oh, well, then again, I don't want to be in line with that. Okay, fair enough. Houses can go here. We need a hospital, they moan. Too bad. It's all peasants are good for. Bloomin' moaning. Nope. Damn. That's one of the real downsides of when you build houses that uh, connect roads. Or just, in general, build buildings that connect roads. Unfortunately, I weaseled my way out of that one. Just like how I'm good at. So is anybody enjoying the city building part yet? Because I'm certainly not. It's, uh, it's a muckle unpleasant experience building up the cities in this game. But needs must, as they say. And I strongly suspect I'm going to have to build up a raw stock to its uh, logical extreme. At least I'm causing such a shortage of wood and clay in the hands that the prices for them are going to be sky high. On the other hand, it means that the prices for building all these things are sky high because I'm building them with materials that just aren't around. So, it actually just breaks even. Now, if it was wood that somebody else provided and I did not, then I'd be making quite a loss here. But thankfully, we drove the wood and clay market into our own holding quite a long time ago. I hope this works. Should work. It's a bit dangerous building right the way up to the wall when the wall can still be reconfigured. And reconfigure the wall, I shall. But I like to play dangerous, so it's okay. This isn't very okay. Could probably squeeze in more than three just going along here, but what's done is done. No, what's done can be undone. Jake, why not cathedrals? Cathedrals uh, break the, the maximum population, as in they can go above 10,000. And the reason, uh, people are asking, uh, often asking, why am I capping everything at 10,000? It's because when population grows really high, the Lord requests get utterly insane. And I am not willing to deal with insane Lord requests. The money he demands, the frequency that he demands, the speed at which his happiness goes down, it's all just so maddening. 
Alright, so I've already built a ton of houses here. To be honest, I forgot why I built so many. It was probably to keep the housing occupancy low. But uh, I will eventually build a stock up to maximum. Just look at how many supplies they're missing. There's going to be a shortage of wood and brick across the Empire for some time. Alright, so what else is on our to-do list? Right, I want to destroy these pirates once I have a mission to do so. So I can probably unpause by now. Danzig's a dangerous place. Okay, there's one last thing I want to do before I pause, and it's a bit tedious, but I want to make sure that everywhere that isn't owned by me is stuck in uh, this. This is the project thing I want them to be stuck on. Should we build a defensive tower or a new city wall? For some reason... Wait, new city wall? I need that. In London. London I actually want to dominate sometime soon, so... And a court... Excuse me, I got the heck up something fierce here. The uh, London, apparently, I want to build loads of beer. 100 beer producing facilities. So, I already built a brewery there. Oh, and there. And even there. Wow, it looks like I've been prepared for this. So, London City Council, build that wall. Here's a whole bunch of money. Get it done. And they're like, yes, sir. Good. Then there's Bruges, which I have not really cared about at all. They also should build a new wall. And Bruges, I want to give me loads of metal. Odd, but yes. Is it really metal? Metal from Bruges? 100 of? Well, I mean, who am I to doubt my own calculations? You here? no longer need to try to produce goods here, as I am better at it anyways. Okay. I really want to hear somebody speak when I buy their buy a house from them. I don't don't want to buy a patrician house though. Those are so very expensive. In fact, he's charging a lot of money for most of his house. Oh no no no! Don't don't do that. I just want to vask us some money here. Is that so much to ask? Okay, the the prices he's wanting for his houses are. Uh, Higher than I'm willing to pay. Yeah. Okay, why not? You want to pay how much for this house? You know what? I can buy another ten with that much gold. He's right and wrong. He can buy ten. He can then buy another ninety. You could buy a hundred houses with what I just paid there. But I just wanted to hear him say that and essentially flaunt my wealth. Uh, but still, I want you to build up that city wall. I have businesses on all the extremes there, so please do. City wall, have 300,000 for it. ka -ching. What else is there? Nimwagen, which we have pretty much ignored. But they're working on their wall, so that's fine. And that's good, I want them to focus on towers instead of anything useful. Cologne as well. Did I even build stuff here? A smithy, another smithy, and another smithy? Is that really what I want in Cologne? According to what I have here, Cologne is meant to produce honey and nothing but. Fortunately, I get my money back for destroying these smiths, and they were never under construction anyway. So I turn around and go, no, give me the honey. Honey is a troublesome thing to actually produce here because I don't want massive amounts of um, of goods coming out of river cities. Cheese for no from Novgorod, for example, is a great thing because cheese has very low tonnage. You don't produce much cheese from one active factory, also it doesn't require anything. Honey produces fairly high tonnage, it's like four per industry per day. But this is what I worked out. Maybe there was a more efficient way to work it, but not that I was finding. And they're working on a university, so no uh, no wall. And again, they're working on their wall. And defensive tower is fine. Just so long as no one's getting the daft idea of upgrading their minister. Like this guy might. Never know where you're going to go with these ones. The city wall is actually a far superior thing to get out of Bremen. 
Especially when I'm going to want 100 hemp out of Bremen. Okay. I never even bought my uh, my privileges here. Got them now, though. Nobody needs to know what Bremen is, but still. You no longer need to try to produce goods here. I have everything under control. Sure you do. Bremen seems kind of big if that's how far that road can go out. Then again, this one's kind of short and dumpy. There we go. And I'm just going to fling money at them to upgrade that wall. Yeah, it was close. There we go. That should be a shoe in to win. And they'll have the money to do it as well. Uh, did Bremen did not do Hamburg. We haven't looked at Hamburg much. What are you guys up to? You don't know. Well, apparently what I want out of Hamburg is 100 cloth. That's a ton of cloth. Could also do with having my rights to, uh, to do anything here. I certainly built up warehouses and then have done sweet sod all with them, but that's okay. Cloth, huh? You no longer need to try to produce goods here. I have everything under control. I'll have everything under control so long as none of these places grow beyond 10k. That's my biggest fear, and already it was realized in one of the cities. Uh, oh yeah, I needed to tell them to get to work on that new wall. So you say 350,000, is that enough to... Yeah, almost. I'll give him an extra bit, just to be sure. Just going around bribing everywhere. Rippin! I am not a fan of Rippin, but I'm going to have to be. I need 100 pelts out of them. Thankfully, pelts are... Well, they're many things, but... They're not particularly vital for anyone anywhere. Unless building up the Mediterranean posts is your biggest desire in life. The Hansa, for me, is going to be so big, I can totally see um, nothing but hunting lodges making pelts for me over in Ripon. Nonetheless, I go to the City Hall and, well, would you look at that, they're working on their wall anyway. Let me just speed things along. Hopefully that helps. Bergen. Bergen has done their wall. Bergen has forever been stuck in this loop, which is excellent news for me. Hold on, was that revolt? I want revolt. I want all of his workers working for me. Spark a small revolt among, among your competitor here. Okay, so unfortunately they're probably just going to become beggars because this is a recession, so actually that's useless to me. Because it would not immediately come to me. Stavanger looks fine. Oslo I haven't really been working on, have I? No, they're working on their wall, and so long as they get stuck in this, well, they are, that's great. Gotham City is its own thing, Alberg also its own thing. And stuck that way. Good. For example, okay, Neman... Ugh. Nimander says, does your optimization include how far you have to transport materials used in more complex production, for example, making metal near the tool production? With the whole hub and spoke approach, I don't care so much about that because, frankly, fleets are very cheap to run, especially since the pirates are going to be under my thumb the moment I reorganize all my, uh, all my angry guard duty guys. Still, I'm going to need to get even more sailors, but... We're almost okay with that, plus I know I can use cogs, that's uh, that's promising. So we checked Alberg, Flensburg is fine, it's mine, same with Nashved, Malma is not mine, therefore not, well potentially not fine, but it's looking good. Yeah, everything in Malma looks just fine there. Lubeck we haven't really touched, but it's good to see that they worked on their wall, and I need to see that they are stuck here, chapel or defensive tower. Uh, risky, risky words coming out of you. I also don't like how much it's building up without my help. They're even in wealth, which I would love to attribute to me helping them, and really it is, but 
They stand on their own two feet here, and all I have set up are beekeepers. Lubeck, for me, is, oddly enough, going to produce 100 honey, so that's kind of nice. But... Still need to get there with the whole honey thing. It's going to be a lot more fleets picking up goods here. Now, Rostock, you did me the great disfavor of this cathedral, and I am unhappy with it. Not too unhappy with getting another piece of that treasure map, because <clears throat> another million would never go amiss. Stettin's seen better days. And 